Hey my guys, I have a blog where I occasionally write reviews and the blog post with the most views by far is an article about a keyboard stand from Jasper's Alu. The article is a few years old, but I still get requests from de about details about the stand. So I would like to summarize some of my experiences after three years. And I'm gonna put the link to the original blog post in the description below. One thing before we dive into this um, video, um, I am not related to Jasper's Alu. I'm not related to Toma Music. Um, I didn't get any money from this company and there is no connection to any of these. Um, I just want to tell you, um, I bought everything myself. There was no gift. Um, and yeah, let's uh, dive into this little review. Ah uh, yeah, and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the link button and leave your comments in the section below. That also applies for questions you might have after watching this little video. Thank you. So this is my current configuration of the rig. Um, and I want to go through the three tiers and explain why I placed what and where. Um, I want to quickly start with some details uh, that I explained a little earlier. So these are um, the, sh uh, the, the holders that came uh, with this model. Um, three pairs of these. Um, I think they are 40 centimeters long. Um, these are the shelves I was talking about, or the, the, um, the wheels, the hand wheels that you can... Um, that you can um, that you can fix the tubes with. Um, then here is um, the rolls uh, that you can fix. Uh, they say only two of these four rolls are um, fixable, but actually mine are all uh, fixable. So I can um, fix all of these four rolls. And um, what else did I want to show you? Yeah, let's quickly go through um, the three tiers, um, I can tell you that those instruments that are the most important ones in my setup are usually in the middle shelf. Uh, that is because um, I can access these um, by far the easiest. Um, sometimes I sit down here with a little, um, not a chair, but with a little hocker in Germany. I don't know the English word for it. And um, then it's hard to get up here um, and operate um, the knobs of um, these guys here. Um, that is why my most important instruments are in the middle. And that is actually right now Performer, the Zendilay, the Baseline and the Erica Synth. Um, and... Yeah, on top I have a laptop. I have a laptop accessory. Um, this that is this one is actually like um, a metal plate that you can screw with a special um, shelf um, on it. But I don't use it for um, for holding a laptop simply because there are screws um, here that um, cause some. Um, some damage on my MacBook um, on my MacBook body. Um, that is why I put like a little um, like a little sticker on it. But I don't use this as a laptop holder at the moment. I rather put it here on this holder. Um, and the laptop is on this level because um, it's I usually have it connected to my setup. Um, when I want to produce videos or when I want to record something um, in my door, it's very handy to have the laptop um, on the on the rig. Then um, I have this place for some smaller pieces like um, the reverb right now. And on the right hand side, I have um, the Lara 8. This place is not really good for creating videos. That is why the Lara 8 is right now here because I don't use it so much. Um, the best places for video and content creation is this spot, actually. So um, that is also a reason why I put these machines here. And on the bottom, 
Um, you can see that when I go around a little bit, don't focus on the messy cable management of mine. You see that here is an additional tube that not only gives the whole construction more stability, but it acts like a supportive tube for these 60 centimeter um, holders. Uh, they go until the back and you can put a very heavy instrument on there. Maybe you can see that better now. Um, I have my mixer put on here. Um, but you can also put uh, like a big um, a tray, for instance. You can put one here and the other one um, on, all the way to the left and put like a plate on it so you have like a table that you can create on the lower um, tier level. Um, and you can put everything you want um, on this one. Um, what is also um, for me, not a problem when I stand here. This is like a um, point of view. Um, you see that I don't see all the knobs from the mixer. Um, that is why I put it here, because I usually don't mess around with the knobs and faders while I perform. So it's not necessary for me to have everything um, inside. If I want this, I could rearrange it a little bit and put this level a little bit lower and this a little bit higher. Um, so I see some more um, of the knobs here, but for me, that's not a big issue. And then I have the electron boxes, um, which are also nice to operate at this place. But I have to say, um, I rather have the knobs um, on this heat um, than too low. Um, it's also when I perform somewhere, um, it's always a little, um, it's always better to have the instruments a little higher than too low. Um, so that is why I put these instruments um, where they are. And I want to show you the downside of this because you have to be a little experienced um, when you mount everything. Uh, the holders, they have to be on the same, um, uh, the same position Otherwise, your gear um, is a little wobbly um, on, the, um, on the stand. That means if you press a button, I think this one is not really, it's not really um, well balanced. You see it's wobbly. And when you press a button while you perform, um, you get um, yeah, a little instability and this is not really cool. So this is a little um, tricky uh, to get this fixed. Um, I help myself with a little plate that I put on there because as soon as you screw uh, them together, the two pieces of the shelves here, they are two, made of two pieces and um, you screw them together they readjust a little bit at the very end when you are tightening up the two um, parts. Uh, so that makes it even a little bit more um, tricky to get this fixed. But after a while, um, you get very um, organized with that. And I think it's not really a problem um, to do that. So what are the benefits of this stand? In my opinion, the Jasper stands have, they have one huge advantage and that is flexibility. You can adapt the stand to any setup you can think of, move the shelves, you can add additional ones or take some away. Not only do they fit keyboards, but they also work wonders for synthesizers, as in my case, and effect pedals, as you can see that as well. Over the course of time, I have repeatedly made adjustments so that I always have the instruments that are currently used the most within uh, easy, easy reach. And when new instruments are added, that's not a problem as well. And another advantage is that the parts are very durable and robust. And when something gets broken, you can buy replacement parts um, separated. Uh, for example, one of the plastic hand wheels on my stand got broke and it didn't work anymore. And I was able to easily reorder one uh, for just three franc. That's really a big advantage um, because I don't like to throw my stuff away. What are the disadvantages of this keyboard stand? The flexibility also has some downsides. 
On the one hand, it takes quite a long time to set everything up and adjust it according to your wishes. And everything sits in place without wobbling. Um, I had this very often in the beginning that electron boxes are wobbly um, and they don't stand very stable because uh, you have to adjust the holders very um, equal on both uh, sides. This alone makes the stand unsuitable for mobile use, in my opinion, um, because uh, the system has clearly been designed for permanent use in a studio environment. Um, also, the weight also supports this little theory because um, everything together is pretty heavy and it's, I think it's not meant to be um, carried around for a gig or something. I think there are better solutions for mobile um, usage. And another aspect is, we talked about that already, that is the price. And uh, Jasper products are quite expensive, especially for beginners. Um, it, it's pretty uh, much more appealing to invest in a new piece of hardware rather than an expensive stand. Uh, for example, the 3R150B version that you have seen um, that costs you 320 franc at the moment. Um, I have seen that on the same website on Tuman also for 299. It's a little confusing, um, but still it's a lot of money. Um, it includes um, casters and uh, three keyboard trays, um, but it was a little cheaper when I ordered it three years ago. And uh, um, anyways, um, a single pair of brackets is pretty costly, so that costs you like 37 euro or 7, 37 franc um, on top. And I've bought a few extra brackets over the years, which quickly adds up to a few hundred extra francs when you add all the accessories that I purchased on top. So don't get me wrong on this point. I'm not really sure if this price tag is a real disadvantage. In my opinion, it makes sense to invest a bit more for a piece of gear that you're gonna use for a very long time um, and that is really able to adapt to new situations like you have new instruments you have a new room you have new space uh, you have maybe something else that's changing or you want to do something different with your gear like video production the Jasper will adapt. Um, you can adjust everything. And um, in my opinion, yes, it's costly, uh, but I never regret my decision. And I'm very happy about this stand each time I fire up my setup. So last but not least, let's talk about the pricing. And um, you can order the mounts and the stands and the accessories directly from the Jasper's website. Um, and many specialist retailers are also, um, they stock the range. I ordered mine from Toma Music um, as the customs uh, duty for import in Switzerland is already included in the price. They are generally cheaper than direct orders from the manufacturer. Um, you see here again is uh, the price from Jasper's is 340 euro compared to the price at Tuman is 292 franc, which equals um, 290 euro um, roundabout. Um, and this price is including the shipment and Jasper's adds up to 60 euro or something for the shipment um, or 67 euro for the shipment plus the custom duty. So that's a huge price um, difference. Um, I will copy the link to these two pro uh, to these websites in the description below, uh, so you can compare it yourself. Um, as I said before, I'm not related to any of these companies. I just want to give you an impression about the pricing here in Switzerland. Um, it can be different in your country, um, but in Switzerland, it seems to be a very um, cheap <laughs> cheap option. And to order it um, at Toman. Uh, the same applies to some of the accessories. Um, they are a little bit cheaper than um, on the European website. Take a look and make your own opinion before you order. Is this stand for you? And when I look back, I can only tell you that it was hard to spend so much uh, for, this, uh, for this piece. 
But as I told you, I don't regret it. Um, it was a very good decision to go for this stand. It's much more fun to work um, and it's pleasing every day when I turn on power and start creating. Um, there are various alternatives, um, of course, um, also on Thoman. Um, Jaspers is not the only company making keyboard stands. Um, these are mostly fixed. So that means you cannot add additional brackets to it or adjust to different uh, instruments. Um, but that doesn't automatically mean that they are cheaper than Jasper. So um, yeah, I think um, if you're a musician who likes to work in a standing position, um, then these stands might work for you. And if you're willed to invest a little money, otherwise I think the market has a lot of cheaper options for you. Um, to start with actually. I think for beginners um, it might be hard to spend so much money if you don't know what music you want to create or where you want to create, um, what instruments you want to put on this um, stand. So um, in this case I would suggest that you go possibly for cheaper models in the beginning um, and go for the Jaspers um, a little later. Yes, that was my little uh, overview of the Jasper stand and how I use it. If this video was helpful for you, I would be happy if you leave a comment below or you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm also thankful for other opinions and ideas to keep your setup tidy. That could also be interesting for the guys who don't want to spend the money for a Jasper stand. Um, put everything below in the description, also links if you want. And um, yes, we see us very soon again on my little channel. Bye-bye.